Добро, доброго дня. О, так вас нормально покрутило, да? Инсульт? Инсульт? Да. Инсульт. А родственники все уехали, да, оставили вас? Папка. Вы и папка, а папка ходячий хоть? Ходячий. Ходячий, да? На ты вам хоть горошка, муки взяли, воды взяли, хоть что-то будете есть, иди сюда. О, Катяра, привет. А ну, бери, брат. Лекарства треба якісь? Лекарства треба? Лекарства, лекарства. Папки, папки, папки. Папки нужны лекарства, да? А что нужно? Блять, бедный чувак, вообще смотри, да? Просто. Вот так вот, короче, я вам хочу сказать. Родственники в суд. Родственники в суд же выехали. Вот такие, да? Да. Окей, все, я понял. А ну да, мне, брат, я сфоткаю сейчас. Сейчас сфоткаю лекарства, какие надо. Сходим в аптеку, купим, да? Дикой. Ага. Ибупрофен. Ибупрофен. Все, сейчас провязаем. Хорошо, тут все. Мы постукаем в рот. У меня мамки нема, мамки нема, там кайка, мамки нема. Ну я понимаю, что нема. Коту есть что съесть хоть? Есть. Иди мой котяра малый. Там кайка. Да и мы видим, что вы калек. Все, счастливо. Да. The Russian Federation complained that drones attacked the Tykoretsky district of Krasnodar Krai on the night of September 21st. The enemy forces allegedly dealt with two drones, but the falling debris of one of them caused a fire that spread to explosive objects. Explosions have begun, residents of a nearby village are being temporarily evacuated to nearby settlements, said Krasnodar region governor Vinyamin Kondratyev. According to the ASTRA Telegram channel, local residents reported an attack on an ammunition depot. Journalists also learned that drones in the village of Oktyabrsky in the Tver region attacked the 23rd arsenal of the main missile and artillery directorate of the Russian Defense Ministry. Tver region governor Igor Rudinya claimed that drones were allegedly shot down in the southwest of the region. Emergency service specialists are working on site together with representatives of the regional administration, he emphasized. Later, the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that they had intercepted 101 Ukrainian aircraft-type drones. 53 UAVs were intercepted and destroyed over the territory of the Bryansk region, 18 over the territory of the Krasnodar region, 5 over the territory of the Kaluga region, three UAVs over the territories of the Tver and Belgorod regions, one UAV over the territories of the Smolensk and Kursk regions, the enemies boasted. Ministry stated that they also dealt with one drone that was over Crimea and 16 drones that were flying over the waters of the Sea of Azov. Videos have appeared online showing the aftermath of a drone attack in Krasnodar Krai. The video shows a huge column of smoke and fire, and powerful explosions can be heard. The Kremlin fears the public's reaction to Ukraine strikes deep into Russia. This issue is a sensitive one for Vladimir Putin's inner circle. According to RBC Ukraine's sources, a decision on strikes deep into Russia will still be made and this greatly irritates the Russians. In addition to addressing purely military and logistical objectives, such as significantly reducing the aggressor's military potential, these strikes could also provoke discontent among the Russian population. Our intelligence is confident that such attacks on Russia can shake up their population and this will force the Kremlin Towers to think about something and come up with some solutions. 
Of course, we don't know what is in the minds of the Russians, but the hysteria on the other side shows that we have probably touched on a painful topic for them, says one of the interlocutors. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, Western approval for long-range strikes would reduce the intensity of Russia's attacks on Ukraine. Moreover, Mikhailo Podolyak, an advisor to the head of the office of the president, commented on the strike on a depot in Toropets, Tver region, in an interview with the RBC Ukraine. He clarified that permission to strike deep into Russia would significantly increase the number of such attacks. While waiting for a green light from Western countries to use their long-range weapons to strike targets deep inside Russia, Ukraine is relying on domestically produced drones which are considerably cheaper than missiles and no less effective. In recent months, Ukraine has increased the number of strikes using homemade drones against Russian critical infrastructure essential to powering Russia's war machine. Faced with attacks using dozens of drones at once, the Russian air defense proved to be overstretched and not always effective. Despite Russia's extensive air defense capabilities, there are limitations to protecting all targets effectively. Matthias Eken, a defense and security expert at RAND Europe, told the Kyiv Independent, the objective is to demonstrate to the Russian populace that the state's defense capabilities are insufficient, highlighting vulnerabilities within Russia. Eken added 